Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. I'm Steve Gamash, and what we have this time is the Dalvois Leaf Spring Carbon Steel Bunka. Uh, the, uh, this line of knives, as you can read on the product page, is from Vietnam. They use uh, vehicle leaf springs, and so the product that they get is going to vary, of course, uh, in the batches that they get, depending on their sourcing. We don't really know what the heat treat is on it. We'll say it's somewhere in the 50s, probably mid to high 50s. The construction is mono steel, so they take these leaf springs and blacksmith them and uh, grind them, heat treat them, shape them, and so on. And um, there's some video available on the product pages. But um, the uh, they've been working with Mark since they, Mark started offering them, and they're very receptive to and want to know what they can do to make their knives better. And so they've come a long way with their quality, the consistency, the performance of their knives from when they first started working with Mark. And so this is a very interesting line of knives. Uh, this particular one I've been playing with, uh, the steel tends to be fairly reactive, so this has some patina on the edge from some onions and product I was cutting. But uh, mono steel construction, the weight and dimensions will vary a bit uh, from knife to knife, especially depending on you know what the material they get, the uh, handles, and so on. The weight on this one is 143 grams or 5 ounces. The uh, edge length is about 180 millimeters or about 7 inches and the overall length is about 12 and a half inches with this handle. The spine thickness on this one is uh, a little thicker than some I've seen. These will vary. This one's about 3.1 at the back millimeters and about halfway down to measure 2.1. And then this is a Bunka style so you can have that reverse sword tip. And this doesn't have a very tall grind at the front. The back's a little taller. Uh, this left side's a little taller, but uh, that's what we kind of look like. There we go. The tip's not super skinny on this. Um, the performance on this, I did play around with some product on this. Uh, it did uh, pretty nicely towards the back half of the blade. The tip could be a little bit thinner, like it's not going to just go through onions. Keep in mind, my frame of reference, I get to use some of the highest performing knives on planet Earth, so uh, one of the benefits of doing all the videos, so I'm particularly uh, cued into the performance of the tips on knives through onions and other things. So uh, you could thin this out a little bit if you wanted to. Another knife you get might have a little thinner tip on it, but uh, I'd say overall it was a pleasant knife to use and they had decent performance to it. And it's got a fair amount of stiffness to it, uh, a lot of integrity on the board, so it was fun to use. Uh, let's get our beauty shot on these. And every knife's going to be a little different. So this one, you can see the maker's mark and name on the left, uh, excuse me, the right side of the blade. They've got a kuda uchi or kind of blacksmith finish, a mottled appearance to that. Fairly smooth. Everyone's going to be different. Uh, kind of almost a nashiji or pear skin type finish to it. Again, you've got patina on the edge here. These will patina pretty darn quick. Uh, they seem to be fairly reactive. They actually do a pretty nice job on their spine. You can see the kind of back, back swoop on the, on the choil back here. So the spine, it's got a little relief on the corners. The choil is nicely done with some relief on the corners and, and smoothing, so very comfortable. Not a very good out of the box edge. Um, I'll put them at a four out of 10 at the max, but all the ones I've had have needed a, a sharpening out of the box. The good thing is this steel is super easy to sharpen. Uh, it takes a nice edge. It, the edge retention is probably gonna be so-so. If you're looking for a knife to learn how to sharpen with, a good, easy to sharpen full carbon steel is a good choice because it's easy to sharpen and it gives you confidence uh, instead of having something that's really hard to sharpen, hard to get sharp. So uh, a knife like this, while it doesn't have the greatest edge retention, uh, one of the benefits is you can sharpen more often and keep in practice and keep your skills up. So there are side benefits to that. So that's a neat knife. It's, it looks cool. It's a, a good performing knife and definitely a unique story behind it. The uh, height on this one's about 50 millimeters at the back. Nice clearance for uh, board work. And got a great spot for your fingers there for a pinch grip. Super comfy on a pinch grip. Uh, the balance point is just a little bit behind where my pinch grip would be for my particular hand. So balance is about right there with this handle. And that's where my pinch grip is. The um, Handles are octagonal and the wood and construction is going to vary. They tend to be a little thinner this way and a little taller that way. Uh, but I've seen some pretty nice handles. They're all a little bit different. If you check some of the different knife videos in this line, this, this uh, leaf spring line, you'll see some different handle samples. So they're putting some pretty sweet handles on these actually. Um, and it's just going to vary. But uh, the latest batches I've seen have had pretty nice little handles on them. 
and uh, pretty impressive actually for the price especially. Uh, handle size on this one is about 70 millimeters in circumference about right there and so just kind of a good general feel balance point for the handle. Uh, let's look at it on the cutting board. It's just kind of a neat unique line of knives if you want something that's a little bit of a conversation piece or again an inexpensive knife to learn how to sharpen with and keep your skills up this would be an excellent choice. This is what the profile is. It's definitely not flat. <laughs> you can see it's fairly curvy. Not the world's best chopper, uh, but I can rock eh, up in there. Uh, but it definitely can rock medium to small stuff, no problem. So that's what our profile looks like. These blades that I've been seeing have been uh, straight. The grinds look pretty clean on them, and they've been pretty consistent in fit and finish. So um, yeah, interesting line. So this is the Davois Leaf Spring Carbon Steel Bunka Knife.